Greetings, everyone. This is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon, and in this week's weekly video tip, we're going to discuss the new capo feature, which is found in version 5. I say new because it was not part of the original product when we released it about a year ago. We've recently added it, and of course, the capo functionality is probably only going to be of interest to guitarists, so if you're not a guitarist, you probably want to move on unless I'm missing something, and it is of interest then by all means, please um, join us as we discuss this. So first of all, the newest builds that are out have the capo feature enabled automatically, and you'll find it right down here in the lower left-hand corner. If you do not want the capo feature to be turned on, go to the Options button, go to the Program Settings, and right here you'll see this option for capo toggle. If you turn it off, you'll see that it disappears from down here. And if you have it off and you turn it on, it will obviously appear and it will show on the user interface down here in this lower left-hand corner. So that's number one. Number two, let's just briefly talk about how this works. If you're a guitarist, you probably already know, but may be different on our software product than you've seen it on others. I don't think it is, but perhaps. So let's just review this quickly. First of all, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see these chord bubbles. So the first thing you're going to notice here is as we change the capo, the chord bubbles here change. And that not only means that these chord bubbles change here, but if we go to Music Docs and the Chord Viewer, the values in the Chord Viewer change. So again, let's just increase this. You can see they're changing. And not only that, but if you were to open the Alternative Voicings window, which you see here, as we change the capo, it obviously changes the alternative voicings that are available to you. So it changes the chord bubbles, it changes the chord viewer, and it changes the alternative voicings. It does not change the depicted key, nor does it change the sound of the song when you play it back. Those remain constant because you're only retuning your guitar essentially, you're not changing the song itself. Now, if you have a particular capo setting that you've selected and you decide that you want to change the key, when you do that, you'll see the first thing that it does is that it resets the capo. So essentially, we're forcing you to choose the key of the song that you want to work with before you implement any capo changes. So if you have a capo set um, and then you change the key, it will then default back to zero. So again, let's do this. We have a key set on a plus one semitone. We have a capo set on plus six. We're going to now change this back to the default zero. When we do that, you'll see that the capo resets to zero. And that should do it. It's really pretty simple. Um, the capo works independent of the key of the song, and it works independently of the playback of the song in terms of what key it is in. It really is only a way to retune your guitar. And so whatever you do here will change the chord bubbles. It changes what you see in the chord viewer, and it changes the alternative voicings. And with that, we'll conclude this training video on the use of the capo in Song Surgeon version 5. Thanks for watching.